The American Forum of the Air will be heard 30 minutes from now over many of these same stations. Sholton, makers of Old Spice aftershave lotion, for that top of the world feeling after every shave, bring you top of the world in action drama for men. I adventure. Adventure. This is Ron, your host, and this is High Adventure. Or, to be precise and practical, the weekly meeting of the High Adventure Society, whose members are those of you, wherever you are, who like stories of strong men, smooth women, and hard, fast action. Hmm. If I said it more convincing, I'd get excited myself. <clears throat> anyway, meeting's in order, and on the agenda is Flight to Renar, an aviation story of the new fighting the old, with a beautiful woman in the winner's circle. Flight to Renar, written and directed for the Society by Bob Monroe, another story of high adventure. It's funny how many different ideas there are about flying. I guess most people think a pilot on an airliner has an exciting, thrilling job. Well, you'd be surprised how boring long hops can be to the guy up front, or how much hard work there can be when there's hard work to be done. To me, flying was just a business, no more. So I guess it was just plain boredom and the desire to make a few dollars that made me take the offer to ferry a ship south. I was waiting for assignment to the foreign schedule, so I had a month to spare, and that's how I happened to be landing a C-47 solo on a strip outside of Diablo in the wilder part of South America. Oh, what a dump. Hey! Hey, you! Yeah? This for Diablo? I hope so. If it ain't, they've been full of me, too. Oh, why is that? Where you been? Huh? Come by way of Hawaii, maybe? Sure, why not? I like flying twin engine without a co-pilot. We had an ETA on you for yesterday. Well, it happens, mister. I had to wait out a front in Caracas. Bad weather, huh? Okay. And I think I did pretty good on dead reckoning. Hit this spot right on the nose with no fixes, no navigator, no range station. We got a range station. Well, how was I to know? It's not on the chart. Okay. Don't even have the name of the joint painted on the roof. Okay, okay, okay. Where's Conway Airlines? You're looking at part of it. I'm supposed to deliver to T.W. Conway of Conway Airlines. After that, show me some food and I'll be ready to get back to civilization. Okay. Well, where's T.W. Conway? There he is. Where? Up there. In the AT-6? Yeah. A crazy flathead. Huh? He's coming right at us. Yeah. Buzz job. Yeah. Well, watch it. Huh? Down. Well, that's fine. What you so worried about? I suppose that's his idea of a welcoming committee. Come on, I'll show you to your office. Speed will roll right up to the front door. He always does. Somebody ought to teach him what you can and can't do with an airplane. Somebody ought to teach Speed Conway? <laughs> Speed Conway? Yeah. Familiar name. He was flying before you was walking. Oh. Well, nice landing. Never misses that speed. Speed Conway. The race pilot? Yeah. Well, so the ten goose finally came in, huh? Hello, boy. Thanks for bringing it down. I got paid in advance. Are you T.W. Conway? Sure. Well, here's your invoice. One beat-up C-47. Now, is there a place I can get something to eat? And after that, will you tell me the best way to get to Santiago? I already got my ticket back, so if you... <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. You just got here. What's the hurry? Well, I have to go... Come on in the office. Marie will sign the receipt for you. She's the one that keeps the books. After that, we'll go to the best foodery this side of Panama. Come on, boy. The goose finally got here, honey. I saw it land. It's beautiful. The boy here set her down right on the edge. A perfect stall landing. So now you can meet a good pilot. Oh, excuse me, I don't even know what you call yourself. Breslin, Fred Breslin. Well, Freddie, meet the best and swellest gal ever to hang around an airport. I had to put Maria here to work to keep her out of the airplanes. Hello, Freddie. Maria. Now, Freddie's hungry, and we got something to celebrate, so let's close up shop and have some fun. What are we celebrating this time? We're in business again. Conway Airlines now owns a ten goose. Okay, Freddie. What? You'll feel better after you come over to get some of Papi's roast beef. You coming, boy? We'll have to get washed up. You should go with speed. Your face is very dirty. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'd better. 
A dinner. A little wine, Freddy? Thanks. Go ahead, help yourself first. <laughs> I never drink when I'm eating. Or at any other time? Well, you feel better, Fred? You're right about that roast beef. Oh, you didn't answer my question. You feel better? I feel fine. Not gonna bite our heads off anymore? <laughs> Don't tease him, Speed. He'd just come in from a long flight. Well, that shouldn't bother him. Look at all the beautiful scenery you had to look at. Trouble is, you're too busy to have a chance to see it. Why, that's half the fun of flying. Getting up there, looking over the top of a mountain, seeing as far as you can see. Yeah, boy, that's half the fun. If you call it fun. <laughs> Listen to him, Maria. Wisdom of youth. What a lot of work to fly in. If by work you mean money, you tell me where it is. I gave up trying to make my first million with airplanes. Thought maybe I better have better luck with my second. But all I get is red ink, huh, honey? It's too much of it. Now sit still, I'll be back. I want to tell Papy we liked his roast beef. We're glad you brought the goose, boy. Now maybe I can make that second million for us. Maria. You like my name. It fits you. Thank you. This your hometown? Hometown? Oh, <laughs> I have lived here all my life. You speak English very well. I studied with tutors. Oh. And speed completed my vocabulary. I can imagine. Maria. Yes? I... You like the music? It is always very soothing. Care to dance? I'm sorry, why? I always dance first with speed. I see. Well, I got the music going. That's fine. Ah, it's a wonderful night. Big full moon, good food. Just a night to fly across to... Hey, Freddy, uh, come on, I want to show you something. Sure. We'll be right back, honey. I will wait. We have yet to dance. <laughs> I didn't forget. Out here, Freddy. I brought you out because you being a pilot... I figured you could appreciate it better than anybody else. Appreciate what? Look at that bright moon. Clear, calm air. Wouldn't you like to be up there tonight? I don't know. I'm pretty tired. No, you couldn't be that tired. That's why we come here, in, in addition to the roast beef. Why? You can see so far from this patio. Just up on a little hill. You can see for miles and miles. Just to get up where you can see. Yeah. You'll know what I mean because... You're a flyer like me. Out there in the west, you can't see it at night, but it's there. They call it Renard Pass. High up in the mountains. No man's ever been through it. Winds around steep sides. Clouds are real mountains. No man's been through it. Someday... And I got nothing better to do. I think I can make it with a six. Someday, I'm going to try it. We ought to go back in. Uh, Maria's all alone. Yeah, I suppose so. Looks like we're all set, huh? Yes, we can start tomorrow. What's all set, boy? Ben has wonderful news. I got all the bucket seats installed. That's my Benny. We can start service tomorrow, Speed, if you want. Boy, do I want it. Wait a minute. What's the matter, Freddy? What kind of service are you going to start tomorrow? Regular passenger service between here and the coast. How do you like that, huh? Is that 47? You said it. Now that Ben has seats and the thing... Wait a minute. That ship means a major. Engines won't rev up the old rated RPM. The gas consumption is too high. The control... You checked the ship, didn't you, Benny? That's okay. But I'll test hop it myself this morning. In the morning. Come on, honey, let's see the... Get that music speed, started. Speed, speed. Yeah, boy? You ever flown a 47? Well, I must have sometime or other. You've got to follow procedures in a ship that big. I'll figure them out as I go along. You can't do that. Well, sure you can. It's got wings and engines just like any other ship, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, but if you then don't... what's eating you, boy? That's uh, your funeral. I just don't like to see you kill a lot of innocent passengers. I never killed anybody in my life. Well, I tell you what. You stay over and check me out and before you leave... Will that make you happy? I don't want any part of it. The ship is barely airworthy, and before you hop any passengers, you ought oh, to get it... Oh, come on. won't take over a couple of hours. No, thanks. The flight down was enough for me. Well, I ask you. I wish you would stay, Freddy. What? I wish you would stay. You're asking me to stay? Yes. 
Of course he is, boy. We're all asking you, aren't we, Benny? Sure. All right, I will. I'll start checking you out tomorrow. Well, now we got that settled. Come on, honey. Let's see if we can get that music going again so we can dance. What would you do if a beautiful girl asked you to stay when you knew to stay meant to fight something with logic as your only weapon? Well, stick around and find out what Freddy did. For this is the beginning of another high adventure. There's nothing like the thrill and excitement of a high adventure, but it's nice to know there are some things we can always count on. And every man listening can always count on Old Spice after shave lotion for the perfect finish to a shave. Old Spice aftershave lotion is soothing, invigorating, antiseptic, and healing to the skin. It instantly takes away uncomfortable razor burn and adds real pleasure to your morning shave. In two seconds, its skin-tingling freshness has you wide awake and ready for the day. Old Spice aftershave lotion has a clean, pleasant, masculine scent that men prefer, not to mention the girls. That's why more men buy Old Spice than any other aftershave lotion at a dollar. Yes... You can always count on this to be true. That men who appreciate real quality, men who know the value of good grooming, use Old Spice Lotion after every shave. Let's continue our high adventure meeting and get back to Flight to Raynar. Fred Breslin's story of High Adventure. It took more than a couple of hours to check Speed Conway out on the 47. After the first ride around the field, he was ready to take it himself, but I talked him out of it. Speed might have been the best seat of the pants pilot in the business, but when it came to flying the gauges and instrument landing procedures, it was rough going for him. The day I was going to stay over turned into five and then a week. I'll give him credit. Speed tried. He tried hard. And the harder he tried, the more I noticed the change. How am I doing, boy? How am I doing? Watch your airspeed. Keep it constant. Also I mean about... descent. I mean about the beam signals. Right there, aren't they? they? Sound all right to me. Just remember to keep to the side of the beam to protect against traffic. <laughs> There's no traffic around here. Well, then why have a range station? I got a chance to buy a cheap and war surplus. It makes the customers feel good. Hold that airspeed. I am. Manifold pressure's up. They go together, you know. Don't feel solid unless I keep her fast. You got to follow procedures. Okay, boy. That's better. You're heading. What? Heading. You're off course. Compass reads the same. Go by the beam. Can't you hear it? I always forget which is which. Correct to the left. Yeah. To the left. I'm doing it. Well, watch your airspeed. It's okay. Building up. Get her on the course first. Nose up. Want to get her on course. Nose up. It's okay. Watch the hangar. What? Oh, I'm so busy. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm so busy reading the instruments and uh, listening to the signals. All right. Take her around and land her. That's it, huh? I guess so. Handle it about as good as I'll ever do it. Yes, Pete, that's right. Watch me bring her in when I'm looking. Brakes. Want to roll right up the hangar? Well, not throw it. They'll hold you just sitting. Hey! Like that. Okay, boy? Yeah, yeah. Let's get out of this boxcar. How'd you like that landing, Benny boy? Okay. Why don't you use the idle cutoff? What? The idle cutoff. Why, oh, yeah. I don't want to keep them running any longer than I have to. Yeah, but that's why it takes so long to start the engines. They load up if you don't use the idle cutoff. Who and son told you that? Freddie told me about it, Speed. Oh. Uh, it works, too. He was showing me. Well, uh... I'll try to remember next time. Save me a lot of work if you would, huh? Sure. Now, don't forget it, huh, Speed? I said I wouldn't. What else do you want? Okay, okay, okay. Speed! Well, honey, just what I want to see. That was a beautiful landing. Go home, tell your father and mother you'll be late. We're going to celebrate. <laughs> what this time? This is something big. Freddy uh, here says that I'm all set on the uh, 47. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, I, I didn't mean Thank that. you for being so patient with him. Well, it's only that I... Freddy here took his time, but we finally did it, didn't we, boy? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. So now that the 10 deuce goes into operation, I got some other big news to tell you. Tell you about the dinner. This time we're going to celebrate for sure. Come on, let's get washed up and get going. You coming, Benny? Okay, okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that. 
Now perhaps I can put some black ink in the book. There's no person in the world like Speed. No, I guess not. Oh, it's so beautifully quiet in the early evening. Yes. And now you will leave. Tomorrow. You have not danced with me? Maria. Yes? This is the first chance I've had to talk to you alone. I... Why do you hide behind words? Maria. That is what you told me. That sometimes words are not necessary. No. Not necessary. Oh, Freddy, Freddy. I didn't know it was you until... I didn't know what your name would be, what you would look like. I had but... to find out. I couldn't leave till I found out. Are you sure? Are you sure? Oh, hey, Freddy, you better go on in and get cleaned up. You're going with us, boy. I... Oh, what's going on? Speed. Speed, we have something to tell you. What? You, uh... Freddy, tell him. Well, I... That sounds foolish, but Marie and I, uh... You and Maria. Yes, Speed. Isn't it wonderful? Well, uh... Yeah. <laughs> well, that is, uh... Well, that's your something... Now we really got something to celebrate tonight. I'm sure happy for you. I'll get the car out and we'll go to Papi's. Hurry up, kid. Don't keep old Speed waiting. I'll wait for you at my house, Freddy. I'm glad Speedy's happy for us. Speed is so wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Benny! Oh, thought I heard somebody. Speed been around? He's over by the six. Thanks. Some party last night, huh? Yeah. Even Speed was late getting over to the field. What do you think of that? No surprise after what he put away. Nah. Hey, I told him I was going to major the engines in the 47s like you wanted them. Fine. They need it. I'll get on it tomorrow. He's over at the six? Yeah. I don't see him. I think he's working in the cockpit. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Going up and ring her out? I don't know. You forgot to tell us something last night. What, boy? You said you had big news. Oh, wasn't important. Speed, I want you to know that I'll be... Want to teach me some more about flying? No. They got wings and an engine. I can fly them. Come on, climb out. We'll talk. No... You going back and tell Benny how to do maintenance right the way it ought to be done. Hop down, boy. I'll stick to flying. Think I'll try that pastor an hour. Got nothing better to do. Speed! Be seeing you, boy! before I could walk. Is that speed going up? Yeah. Up where he can see. <laughs> Who else could it be? If not you, it must be speed. He's a great flyer. He's going to stunt again. Look! Yeah. You said it's so strange. Oh, it's nothing. Hey, you see that, huh? Yeah. He's ringing out the six today, ain't he? Yeah. What do you call that stunt, Freddy? Snap roll. <laughs> Just as it looks. That's right. Hey, that one there's a new one. Fred. Huh? Something wrong. No. I'd rather see him do acrobatics than try the pass. Just watch old Speed. He can sure throw it around. Old Speed. I don't understand. Everything is all right. Look at this one, Freddy. Power spin, huh? Bet you never seen it done better. No. Nope. Old Speed's a hot rock today, ain't he? It's enough speed. Four, five, ten. Start your pull Fred. out. Now. Eight, now. Fred, what is it? Pull out. Hey. Speed. Really? For a second, I didn't think he was going to. Power spin! Hey! The radio tower! Come on, we gotta get him out. What's the matter? Come on. I better start majoring them engines. What? Get him started today, finish him a day. Are you quicker. crazy? That's your boy Speed in that crack up. You want him to burn to death? It's gonna fire up any second. Speed go always away. said that when he went in to walk away, 
Don't run to the wreck. Walk away as if it never Speed happened. Speeder's got ideas. Aviation outgrew 20 years ago, and that's one of them. If he's alive, I'm going to try to save him. I think that much of him anyway. Silly romantic thing. Uh. Speed. Look at mark on him. Pulse. Yeah, pulse. Breathing. Ben! What house? Still alive. Give me a hand. Alive? Yeah, alive. Now help me with him here. Yeah. Come on. Okay. All right, now put him down. He's less we move him, the better. Open his jacket. Okay. Fred! Stay back, Maria. Speed. Chest is crushed. Get him to the hospital. No hospital here. Well, where's the nearest one? I don't know. Speed. Maria. Yes. Where's the nearest hospital? And stay back. Hospital? Where is it? Over the mountains. Where over the mountains? At Renard. He's alive? Yes. Ben. Maybe a doctor. Could... Uh, Get the 47 gas and bring it over here. Okay. Clouds over the mountains. How high do they go? Like 16,000 feet. All right, put some oxygen and equipment in the cabin. Maria, you're coming along to take care of him. Uh, we don't have no... You'll help us a co-pilot, Ben. We don't have no oxygen equipment, Fred. Oh, that's fine. It's bad crushed. He won't last. You got charts on the mountains? Yeah, over in the office. Be but... sure the latest ones are clipped to the board. But you can't make no 16,000... He always wanted oxygen. to fly Renard Pass. Okay, boy, we'll try to get him through it. Huh? Maybe I'm crazy, too. Let's go. Hey, wait a minute. You don't know what you're asking Speed for. Speed thought it could be done, didn't he? Well, he could do it, maybe, That's but... the only way we'll get through. Now, get on the gas pump. Speed and me flew over the top of it once. You can't hold a level. The winds are too strong. What's the matter, boy? <laughs> we will go, Ben. Okay, okay. I'll get the charts. You gas up the 47. <laughs> Members, you on the edge of your seats? From here on, about three things can happen. Fred could try to get through the pass and fail. He could make it and save Speed's life. Or he could... Well, you don't want me to spoil it for you. And at this point, I think we're agreed it's the kind of story that can only be called High Adventure. If any of you men don't know what a grand feeling it is to finish off your shave with Old Spice after shave lotion, you're missing something. Once you've tried Old Spice Lotion, its bracing freshness is sure to become a part of your daily life you'll never want to miss. The ship-decorated bottles are man-tailored and man-sized. And here's something extra you'll be glad to know. The Old Spice bottle has an exclusive leak-proof stopper, which makes Old Spice aftershave lotion ideal to carry when traveling. So for all these good reasons, and for a wonderful sense of well-being after you shave, use Old Spice aftershave lotion tomorrow and every morning. Back to Flight to Raynar, Fred Breslin's story of high adventure, of life and death in an airplane flying through the Andes. That's it up ahead? Up the valley. Not very wide. Don't get much wider, neither. Check the port engine mixture. Temperature's going up on it. Hey, it is. Well, here we go. Mixture same as the other. With it on full rich. Okay. Are we in the pass? Just entering. How speed? Unconscious, too. Better get back and belt them down. It's going to be rough in here once we get... Oil pressure's out. Feather. Vibrating. Shake the whole ship. Cut switches. She stopped. Is it bad? Get back with speed. Belt them down. All right. You're going to turn back. Got to compensate. Can we do it on one engine? I don't know. We're lightly loaded. You better make up your mind. Yeah. I knew them engines needed a major, eh? What? You gonna turn back? If you don't now, you're not gonna be able to. Not enough room between the mountains. Hey, Freddy, you hear me? Yeah. You gotta make up your mind. You gonna turn back. Huh? Turn back? Ha, ha, ha. Betty boy, we've just started. Okay, okay, speak. Okay. Watch the temperature gauge. If it starts climbing, let me know. Sure. Getting rough. Lean around a little. Hey, we're losing altitude. We're still climbing. The valley's closing in. Huh? Getting tight. Hey. Keep your belt tight. We're lower than the ridge up there. I see it. Can't you climb this thing more? Sit tight. Heading right for it. Increase RPM. But we're heading for it. Change that pitch. Yeah, sure. That's it. Do something. Hold on. We're gonna hit it. Hope the charts are right. Watch it. Show 1850 again. Okay. The clouds are coming down on the peaks. How come we didn't hit the ridge? Charts showed a turn to the left, banked around it. Oh. You're going to have to go on instruments if them clouds come down anymore. Can't get into those. Got mountains in them. Oh. 
We're almost to the hump. How can you see? I'm guessing. Huh? <laughs> Relax, Benny boy. Hey, we can't go through there. I hope we can. Don't look as white as a wing. I'm going to need your help, Ben. Okay, okay. Call off the instrument readings. Go round the board, then start over again. I don't have time to look. Okay, okay. Start with airspeed. Airspeed, 140. Altitude, 12.5. Rate of climb, zero. RPM, 2100. Manifold... Hold tight. This is the big one. Cylinder head temp, 260. Oil temp... You wanted to fly the pass, Speed. Pressure. Okay, boy. When you got nothing better to do. Across the horizon, boy. This is it. Okay, Ben, I can handle it. Huh? We made it. Well, I figured we would. It is calm now. Are we all right? Yeah, it was swell. Be in Renard in a couple of minutes. I'm glad. Speed ride the pass okay? Yes. It was rugged for a few minutes then. Didn't bother him? Hasn't regained consciousness yet. No. He was dead when I went back to fasten the belts on him. I would have come and told you... But it was so rough, I could not stand up. Well, he flew to pass. Yes. When I go in, walk away. Don't run to the wreck. Walk away as if it never happened. Walk away and... forget I ever hung around that joint. There'll never be another guy like him. No. Not completely. Huh? Not the wild, foolish speed. But what he loved and what made us love him... I think so. Yeah. Don't you, Freddy? What? Oh, sure. (laughs) Now, honey, watch how I float her in right on the edge. You'll never know when we touch. Move over, Benny boy. Let her get a ringside seat. Okay, okay, Freddy. Okay. to Renar, pilot Fred Breslin's story for the files of the High Adventure Society. (laughs) That boy had a pretty rough time, didn't he? Too bad he went through those mountains and then found out it was all for nothing. Or was it? Anyway, in the closing minutes of the meeting, we credit the members who participated. Assisting were John Larkin, Inga Adams, and Jim Bowles, with guest soloist Geraldine Beitzel, and music under the direction of Mr. Lou Davies. And next week... The High Adventure Society will present a very unusual story called Export Item, about a man who signed on a tramp steamer and sailed into world intrigue through a sea of life, love, and death. Sounds all right, doesn't it? Well, until next week's meeting, then, to make life interesting, good luck and high adventure. Remember to join us again next week when Shulton brings you another exciting story of high adventure, export item. And remember, too, that Old Spice after shave lotion gives you wonderful value for your money. There are two generous sizes of this quality lotion, a dollar and a dollar seventy-five. Look for the handsome red Old Spice cartons at drug and department stores everywhere. And for that top-of-the-world feeling, use Old Spice lotion after every shave. Now over most of these stations, American Forum of the Air on NBC.